Greetings from Kenya. My name is Sixta Zodumbe. I work with SNV as the project lead advisor for the market-based energy access project in Kakuma Refugee Camp. I am based in Kakuma uh, Refugee Camp near the border with South Sudan. I lead a team of advisors, local capacity builders, including refugee incentive workers, implementing the project in Kakuma Refugee Camp. SNV, Netherlands Development Organization, with support from Energizing Development, is implementing a market-based energy access intervention for refugees and the host community in Kakuma Refugee Camp and the new Kalobei Settlement Camp in Trukana County, Northern Kenya. In November 2017, SNV was the first organization in Kenya to introduce a market-based intervention in a refugee camp. This came with a number of challenges. The refugees rejected the concept, claiming it may lead to UNHCR not providing aid assistance to them. But working with the community leaders and UNHCR, we were able to launch the project in the camp. Naitwa Amos Nyandwi, ni baba wa nyumba, ni namuke mumoja, na watoto kumi. Wakati nilifika hapa, kulikuwa na stress nyingi, mana kulikuwa na jua, kari, upepo vumbi na hakukuwa na muti hata mmoja sikuwa na matumaini kwamba nitaangalia tv au familia yangu itaangalia tv kama vile nyumbani nilikuwa kwa sasa ninaangalia tv nikitumia sola najisikia vizuri kwa sababu SNV imeniweka kama vile niko nyumbani the main objective of this new initiative is to promote sustainable market-based energy access for cooking and lighting through support to clean energy entrepreneurs to facilitate market-based access to and use of clean cookstoves, solar and small electricity services for households and business in Kakuma refugee camp and the host community by establishing and strengthening sustainable and commercially viable supply and distribution models for quality cookstoves and solar pickup PV products, by triggering demand for households with an aim of reducing indoor air pollution and improving health outcomes. Jinangu ni Alexandra, mimi ni agent wa Azuri. Wakati nimefika hapa Kakuma, maisha ilikuwa magumu sana. Na gisi ya kusaidia watoto ilikuwa vigumu sana. E, hiyo hali ilikuwa inanipa stress nyingi sana na kwa kujiona kama siko mwanaume kabisa kufatana na familia gisi naishi ila wakati nilipata kazi e, kwa kampuni ya Azuri ambayo iko chini ya SNV maisha yangu yaligeuka kabisa e, kwa sasa naweza nikafanya chochote kile naweza familia yangu iko vizuri e, mimi kupitia hii kazi yenye nafanya ya Azuri ambayo iko anda SNV Mimi siko tena ule mtu wa zamani. Hivi niko mfanyabiashara kabisa wa kuenea na maisha yangu naona kama vile inaweza. <laughs> the SNV Market Based Energy Access Project supports clean fuels and clean cookstove supply chains and has introduced various clean cooking technologies in the camp and in the host community. Advanced and low cost improved uh, stoves have been introduced to both markets. However, Many refugees and the host community have low income. To address the low income, refugees and host community energy needs, SNV supported the construction of a new stove production center in the host community in Kakuma town. Introduced two new stove designs preferred by the communities living in Kakuma. SNV partnered with three private sector clean cooking companies and as of October 2018, 1,400 cookstoves, mainly bioethanol cookstoves, had been sold, reaching a total of 8,400 out of the 16,500 targeted by the project. 
And our green lighting component, the project supports distribution of solar Pico PV products in Kakuma through partnership with the private sector solar companies. The main intervention under clean lighting includes customer awareness creation on quality products, capacity development for entrepreneurs, creating business linkages between value chain actors at different levels. We facilitate affordability and access through innovative financing models such as pay as you go. And as of October 2018, a total of 1,800 solar home systems had been sold, reaching 10,800 people out of the 21,000 people targeted by the project. The current energy situation in Kakuma is such that electricity is from independently operated diesel-powered generators. These are run as businesses by refugees with their owner-operated selling power to businesses and households. They operate for just a few hours a day and are unregulated with high tariffs and substandard wiring. There are no metering systems in place, hence the overpricing of end-user electricity costs. Only 5% of the Kakuma households have access to electricity. Most households still rely on firewood, charcoal, paraffin, and solar lanterns for their lighting and cooking needs, with firewood being the main source of energy. Of the wood harvested in Turkana, 30% is converted into charcoal and 70% is used directly as firewood. UNHCR in Kakuma provides only firewood to refugees for cooking. But even this is inadequate, forcing refugees to buy fuel for cooking, with some even selling their food rations to buy fuel. The main market for firewood at the refugee camps, estimated at 12,046 metric tons per year. Kakuma provides an opportunity that would accelerate the progress towards vision of safe access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy services for all, SDG 7, given the unrestricted market access as well as the lack of access to reliable energy sources. A baseline study which was conducted by SNV in Kakuma in 2007, November, shows that in Kakuma 1, more than 35% of the residents express a willingness to pay for quality household solar products, providing energy for the growing number of refugee camps and settlements across the world comes at a high cost for humanitarian organizations, for users, and for the environment. For SNV, this is the beginning of a journey to transform the energy environment in refugee camps in Kenya, in Africa, and across the world, working in partnership with UNHCR, the development partners, and the private sector. A lot more can be achieved, but we cannot do this alone. Please join us. Let's work together in transforming the lives of refugees and the host communities across the world. This is our call for action. Thank you and welcome to Kakuma Refugee Camp.